Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment fan down below because it's hot. It's hot. It's hot just like an oven. Fan down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, you're going to get entered to win $50 in cash out, a copy of Call of Duty or 2K, or uh, $50 in VC. That's number one. Number two, um, liking the video also enters you to win a next-gen console at the end of the month if we can keep the views up that we own. And number three, the bots are back in town, man. Look, they tell, now they, that ain't got crafted, they're telling y'all to text them on some type of phone number. I don't think that's going to be nearly as effective as Telegram, but I don't got Telegram, and I sure ain't going to put my phone number down there in the comment section, bro. So look, that's not me. It's not that. Unless I say you text me on Twitter or, or uh, Instagram or Black Planet, you know it ain't me, man. And without further ado, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Look, bro, I ain't, we just gonna get money on the floor. Let's just get straight into it. Hey, NBA 2K leaks and Intel, they just say, how are we feeling about season two so far? And a lot of people are feeling good about season two because the dr adrenaline reverted. Uh, everything's back to how it was uh, before dribbling and uh, people are able to use the dribble move that a lot of people didn't even care about anyway so that's why we are with it man I don't think that it was all that game changing when they took it out and uh, so putting it back in so I have to feel the same way if they put it back in I don't think that's all it's all that game changing either I just think it's it's just a change it's something that the community um advocated for and uh it wasn't that big a deal so 2k was just like hey let's just put it back in man it ain't hurting nothing if we had already played the game like that to that point it's, it's really not a big deal and i feel the same way it's, it's not a big deal and uh i don't think anybody really really even cared like one way or another except for the people that dribbled like that and use it because you could really momentum without using right trigger i don't know if you can spam it back and forth and all that good stuff man but you know hey it is what it is um we're going to talk about the dribbling a little bit later, man. But uh, up next, we got the boy, Davo Migo, saying, man, 2K23 is not dead. Stop it. And then, hey, then that boy EJ come through. But they keep saying it is, though. I don't know who's perpetuating this myth. Probably the same people that's perpetuating the myth that a 6'9 six, a six and a 6'1 are the same speed. And like we keep trying to tell people, the 6'9 and the 6'1, even if they were the same speed, the SIGs, that a 6-1 can get versus the ones that a 6-9 can get, that's what makes that guy faster. Not just, not just you know, straight ahead speed. And, and for real, in basketball, in football, straight ahead speed, you know, that, that might actually mean something. In basketball, straight ahead speed doesn't mean anything. It's how quick you are. Like, and, and somebody throw the ball down on the on, on a full court, man, on a, um, on, a, on a rebound or something, how often do you catch that guy anyway? Even if he's slow, even if it's a center, you're not catching him. So that really doesn't matter. You talking about headbutting the goal, bro? This dude right here is the reason that I went and put on anchor. That boy right there wasn't doing nothing with this Zion bill, but headbutting the rim. And you see all of us down there, and he's like, bro, I don't care who's down here. I'm going to go up with the most unintelligent low IQ moves I can. I am getting on that rim. That's what he's saying. I'm getting on that rim. I don't care what happened. I don't give a damn who say what. I'm getting on that rim. Hey, it is what it is, man. Let that man play the game how he want to. You're going to lose anyway. It is what it is. That's why I don't understand why people get so mad at people rim running. Like, yes, it is low IQ. Yes, it is annoying. But... If you still gonna beat him, why does it even matter? Like, look at him, he don't even care, bro. He just, look, look, I'm down here. Great position, he don't care. That joke is, I'm just going up with it. It is what it is, man. Hey, God bless his heart, let him have fun. Um, I ain't even mad at it. It's like I said, it's annoying, but it's not one of them things, like you're not gonna win the game like that, so it is what it is. Up next, we got the boy Kuliad, man. He say, the biggest 2K YouTubers of all time didn't blow up off being the best. They were the best at their content. Uh, you're in the wrong community if you want to, if you want to go viral off skill. Unfortunately. Hey, and that's something that like, bro, I done told people that, like I said, I've been saying that for years, bro. But like me and Man Man said for all the time, man, all them guys, Fredo, Soluminati, all them guys that, that was blowing up back then, King, uh, my guy iPod, all them, uh, Chase Money, like they blew up and, and I can't, I can't, with Chase Money and King Carter, I, can, I, I only thing I can say is like, when you say they wasn't playing no super duper comp games and stuff like that, it's because it, it really didn't exist like back then. They were the in, the incarnate 
or you know they were the ones that created the 2k community really and so it really wasn't too many people to play back then and it wasn't really no park back then you know it was team ups and then wreck and stuff like that like they would play people would play park but those guys played mostly wreck because how many of y'all used to see used to be like uh we used to see just randomly on 2k what 13 14 and 15 they just post a screenshot who the reason bruh <laughs> who the reason like that was that was popular back then but like nobody that really blew up cash all them guys you would never say that they're lsk all them you would never say they're the most skilled players at the game but they were very very entertaining uh to watch them play the game and that's what it's always been about annoying all them guys bro they ain't never never been they, they can beat you but nobody's gonna say that those guys are going to the 2k league you understand what i'm saying tycino all them guys like you know if y'all understand what i'm saying i hope you do like they're very good players don't get me wrong but they're gonna beat the average person and they're gonna beat the average person in the community but they're not they don't they, they them guys got no 2k league aspirations they content creators and that's what i'll be telling people too you beat me i it really don't make me no difference i'm a content creator please don't even confuse me with being good because i really don't care but you know rolling on that boy mitchell, Inc mitchell said look this is the correct take it's why it's why following trends instead of finding your own voice is slow progress uh find what sets you apart from the pack not establishes you as part of it and that's a fact and then i don't know what 2k 2k was saying 2kw was saying this is my guy man but he was on he was out of left field i think he didn't understand what he was saying he said skill and basketball iq should matter though it is still a basketball game so now you telling people what to like bro Come on, man. You can't tell people what to like. It should be. That's like, what you, uh, uh, it should be about. IQ, but IQ should matter, though. It is a basketball game. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, you can't tell somebody what to like. Don't take that person. Like, we still, hopefully, we still be friends, man. I'm just I'm just doing the video. I'm doing this for the video because they asked me to do this all the time. I got to do it at least. But you can't tell somebody what to like, man. If people like, like, you will hear it all the time, bro. Why people watch Jay? Like I used to have three, four hundred, five hundred people on on Twitch when I on in 2K18. People were like, why you watch him? He's not good. It didn't matter if I was. I had thousands watching me in Call of Duty when when I first started playing Call of Duty. People were like, why they watching him? He's not good. It doesn't matter if I'm good at the game or not. It never mattered. That's why I pissed so many people off in the comment section that I can I can grow and i never hit a hundred thousand but i still get more views than some people that's over a hundred thousand because i i, I I'm, it's the entertainment factor it ain't never been i've been able to hold some people uh, attention for the last 14 years or however long i've been on uh youtube and twitch and all that stuff bro i done held people's attention for this long because people coming back in droves last night just to watch me play call of duty it's because of the community that has been fostered it's never been about the gameplay never been about iq dr disrespect yes he's a good player but ain't nobody there for his gameplay we're here for the antics and the entertainment and stuff like that like i said cash nash you went to his stream for that but uh y'all man came back and said it very respectfully he said you do realize that the people he listed are some of the most uh some of the and most skilled players on 2k but their content is equally good the biggest 2k youtubers ever weren't very skilled though uh just good enough and had elite content that's a fact i mean that's what you that's what you should subscribe that's what you should strive for nobody cares about who's good at the game that's why a lot of people mad right now because they're trying to be good at the game and they're like why is the gameplay not carrying me but why aren't you entertaining that's why ej get more views than than most people, but you know it is what it is. I said, uh, like I said, a few examples I can think of: Joe knows Uncle Demi. They do the build of Kuliyad, Monstizo, and uh, Ball Crack. <laughs> uh, they are dribblers. Uh, Young Keys, Five Nine, TikTok Extraordinaire, and uh, Oxy first to build a, pro a platform off of sarcasm. TikTok playing with randoms. Mitch, I think you're giving. I think you're giving Oxy a little bit too much. Uh, too much um what's I, I i birth raising with randoms and stuff like that man y'all the, the people just you know what i'm talking about nobody at 2k they just don't fuck with me i don't know why it is that only might rock with your boy but yeah i i i started the sarcasm man and um playing with randoms thing actually it might have been man man with his whole random man shit comment on a series but who knows about that who cares about that all i can tell y'all is I'm, I'm just joking man but i understand what he's saying is you have to foster something you got to find what works for you and then you got to work what works for you you can't you can't sit there and uh and i watch dude videos he do some great videos too he does some very um detailed stuff 
great editing and all this stuff, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just talking about Oxy. But yo, like I said, he's, uh, you know, Trump, it's a good channel. It's not, it's, you know, like everybody's thing is not gonna be somebody else's thing. So it might be your cup of tea, it might not be my cup of tea. My my news and my, my funny news might be your cup of tea and it might not be that cup of tea. So you, you, you can't try to tap into all audiences. There's no way to try to tap into all audiences. What you're gonna have to do, figure out what works for you and then you go with that, man. And then you just rock with it and hopefully uh, you'll find success with that. And it takes time. Like I said, it's taking me. I've been on YouTube since 2010, 2009, 2010. I've been on YouTube, man. So, hey, it's, it's slow growth. But slow growth better than no growth. Up next, we got the boy Power DL. He's saying the boy is learning, man. He said the smarter you get, the less you speak. You grow to realize that not everyone is worth confrontation. Your time is valuable. Your energy is priceless. You won't waste either on people who don't deserve it. And that is the exact reason I don't argue with you is in the comment section. When y'all be talking about ah, ah, raising with randoms, you missed a shot at three points in. You're really not that good. Jay, you really did the that. I, I told you you weren't that good. You're not backed up by Bruce and Brad. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bro, I'm not gonna argue with y'all about a video that I put out. Y'all, like I told him what, but I won, I won five games before I put out that one game. Y'all know how many games I win trying to get, trying to get a bad game for Razor with Randoms? Y'all have no idea how hard it is. You gotta have a game and you gotta get sold in dramatic fashion. It is so difficult to do Razor with Randoms. Some days I don't even, I do Razor with Randoms, play like 10 games, win all of them. None of these games are good. So I gotta do that. So like I said, well, that's why, that's why you don't argue with people, man. You just sit there, do your thing, find your zen, find your inner, inner peace and you good man hey it is what it is up next he also says how many points do you have i've got a mediocre less than 5k but uh some of the communities say 15 percent that surprised me 15 percent of the community got um of, of his community has 20 uh thousand points that's actually pretty good man um some got 10 to 20 i'm sure some people are just lying just to be cool and i don't even understand why people do that but that man that, that does make sense that the overwhelming majority does have uh, only got uh, about 5,000 points. Um, especially if you're a role player, something like you know, or me, or if you, or as they say, a corner sitter or a uh, spot up or something like me, you're not gonna have that many points. And I don't do, I don't, I don't be on enough for me to do that. And but I'm cool with that because I don't expect to hit legend because I really hear. Whoa, whoa, was he swimming? Oh baby, he swim. Oh baby. All right, what you gonna do with it though? Why are you passing to me? Yeah, he going to that ring. Get on that rim. It is what it is. But like I said, though, man, um, it's just one of them things where people love to to try to incite a riot or something where there's nothing. I mean, it's, not, it's really nothing to see here. But you know, people try to uh, people try to start stuff where it ain't. You just gotta ignore that, ignore the noise, and keep going. Speaking of which, IQ Contain finally says something. This is the reason that they are overpowered or that you can see them as overpowered. If y'all didn't know six and six nine bills, it's not six nine bills really, it's just more the power force, but six nine bills get limitless takeoff in tier two. I think they get posterized in tier two too, maybe or something like that. And glove in tier one. Think about that for a second. Now, if you wanted to say that this right here is what makes them overpowered and makes them a little stronger than the next bill, then yeah, I could agree with that. And then he says, uh, Quincy T says, yes, and because I agree with this, uh, I agree with, uh, I agree with, yes, thank you, Jake, I agree. Yes, I didn't know. Yes. What is he trying, bro? Okay, Chris, you be, you be, you be, you be doggone trolling a little too much, man. But yeah, like he said, if y'all didn't know, that's, that's what makes them a little bit stronger than the average bill. Not the speed, not the quickness, not all this stuff. If like I said, if we want to if we want 2K to do the right things, we got to tell them the right things to do. And last but not least, we got the guy Greens. Look at this man said this is all L2 dribbling. He is out there getting funky with it, getting jiggy with. It. Look at that. Ain't losing no adrenaline and all that stuff, man. So, like you said, man, you like y'all can still dribble, you can still do your thing even though they um fixed the adrenaline and did some stuff. But the main thing that the main thing to take away from the video today is if you are a content creator, find out what your niche is and run with that. But it's gotta be something also. You know, mix in some stuff. Like Laker fan, his whole niche is 
a 25 three-pointer bill. And he's able to make that work, man. A lot of people are like, I don't know how he does it. Um, I, 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 I couldn't figure it out. It's not my thing. But he has to be elite at one thing, so he's elite at defense and ducking. And so that's what it is, man. You got to be able to find what your niche is and what you want to do. And then that's what's going to get you to grow. Being good at the game is really secondary. It's probably why a lot of guys that are really good at the game or feel like they're elite they're like, why I can't grow? Like, you'll be, you'll be good on Twitch or whatever, but YouTube is just not about that or what have you man but y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section man um do y'all think like i said comment fan down below um like the video for your chance to win some vc we're gonna do a stream after this so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm holler y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, speak.